The next question is explain the T flip flop with characteristic equation. Okay, and it is a question from August September two thousand twenty. So what is meant by T flip flop? T flip flop is nothing but your toggle flip flop, right? And it is frequently used in counter. So first, let me draw the block diagram. So what are the inputs? You have one input that is called as your T, and here I am taking the other input will be your clock signal, which is negative edge trigger. clock and the output will be q and complement of it will be equal to q dash so this is your first block diagram of your t flip flop now what is your uh, uh, truth table truth table and your characteristic equation okay truth table and characteristic equation so how will you find out so uh, what are the two states you have 0 and 1 right input so if i take t your input which gives the characteristic table which gives the present state as well as your next state next state is taken as q plus okay so this will be your next state and q will be your present state and t is your input right so you have what are the combination 0001101 means what when your input is equal to 0 you can have two options q can be 0 or q can be 1 similarly when input is equal to 1 you can have q present state to be a 0 or 1 now what is in your simple case what is your uh, t flip flop uh, output if input is equal to 0 what will be your output so in short what is your uh, output of your uh, t flip flop if t is equal to 0 there will be no state change when t is equal to 1 the state changes right so here you have the condition t is equal to 0 there is no change right no state change so whatever is the previous value it will be remaining in the same state the pre uh, uh, present whatever is the present value the next state also will be in the same state so q is equal to 0 in this case the output also will be next state will also be equal to 0 present state is 1 means the next state will be also equal to 1 so there is no change in the state now when t is equal to 1 what will happen the state changes right if 0 is the present state the next state will be 1 similarly if 1 is the present state the next state will be equal to 0 so this will be your transition table or your uh, your uh, next state with respect to that of your present state and your input of the flip flop so here state changes so in general i can tell that in the q flip flop the q plus will uh, b1 q plus will be equal to the next state will be 1 if what are the two condition if t is equal to 0 or q is equal to 1 and sorry and q is equal to 1 and what is the next condition or t is equal to 1 and q is equal to 0 that is if the input and the present output are different then you will be getting the output as 1 whereas if it is same if the input and the present state are same 0 0 1 1 there will be the value will be equal to 0 okay so now from this can you find out the characteristic equation so here you have two ones right so for this one what is the value so q plus is equal to t dash q plus for the second one t q dash t q dash so what is this this is nothing but your xor gate right so i can write it as t xor q so this will be your what characteristic equation now what about your timing diagram so here in your block diagram the clock is taken as, as bubble is there so it is a negative edge triggered clock so if i take a clock signal so it will be triggered in the falling edge okay so if i take the input t as so this if this is your input t now what will be your output input t and what will be your output q so it will be triggered during the falling edge right so here during the falling edge what is the value for uh, t t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 there is no change so it will be uh, output also will be equal to 0 for the next again it is t is equal to 0 there is no change but whereas in the third clock pulse see here you have t is equal to one so the state will change from 0 to 1 so this is your output of your t flip flop okay with block diagram your truth table and characteristic equation and your timing diagram